Hello and welcome to the Movie Podcast. My name is Daniel and I am your host today. I'm riding solo on this one. I'm paddling my own canoe, uh, but I hope everyone's having a great week. We've been having a very busy week here on the Movie Podcast with our new episode, our new reviews, and of course, all of the incredible special guests we've had joining us, but we're not done yet because we have another amazing guest joining us very, very soon on the show. But I did want to run through some of the incredible episodes that you could look out for, do some housekeeping, and then we're going to dive right into it. I'm going to be making a lot of water puns, as much as I can or as much as could come into my head. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but this week alone, we've had some amazing episodes of the movie podcast drop, starting with our episode on Monday, where we talk about The Last of Us, the Joker sequel, Nev Campbell leaving Scream 6, and a lot more. There's a lot happening in the world of the movie news right now. Lots more we're going to be talking about next week. Um, but after that, you know, we were really lucky that we got to see an incredible Pixar film. And that movie was Lightyear. And that movie is going to be out today. You could go catch it in theaters. We'd love for you to see it in IMAX and let us know what you think of it. You could hear our review right now on the movie podcast feed. And once you're done listening to our review, once you're done learning about Lightyear and going to see uh, Buzz's origin film, come back to the show. And check out the two amazing episodes that we just dropped this week where you can learn more about how the film was made. So we were super lucky to welcome director Angus McLean, producer Galen Sussman, and composer Michael Giacchino to talk all about this movie. And then yesterday, or I guess depending on when you're listening to this episode, I'm not going to try and date it, uh, we were able to talk to some of the incredible animators behind the film, uh, the Canadian animators as well too. So it's always nice to talk to the hometown heroes. We had Rob Jennings, Emily Glay and Donald Chan join us from Pixar Animation Studios. It's always a blast to to talk to the people who make the films, and I think animators especially need to get their their due when it comes to these films. So we're so lucky to have them join us. Uh, and then, of course, this week we dropped our Spiderhead review. That is going to also be out on Netflix on June 17th if you want to check it out and go listen to that review. We had a really good time with it. Now, today, today is June 17th. Today is Friday. You're going into the weekend, and you're probably wondering, what's a good show that I could just sit down and watch? And that show would be The Lake, and that's on Prime Video. Today on the movie podcast, we are thrilled to talk to actor Terry Chen of The Lake. You know him from his work on movies like Almost Famous, and throughout the last two decades, he's appeared in a bunch of different shows and movies, including Memory, The A-Team, Elysium, House of Cards, Jessica Jones, The Expanse, Falling, A Million Little Things, and so much more. He was also on an episode of Smallville. I didn't talk to him about it, but I should have definitely brought him up because it was one of my favorite episodes of season three of Smallville. We're going to dive right into that conversation very, very soon, but I just want to remind you, as always... Make sure you follow The Movie Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Letterboxd at The Movie Podcast. Make sure you write into the show at hello at themoviepodcast.ca. Join our Discord and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. It's a lot of, bit, it's a lot of homework for you to do, uh, but we want to keep doing what we're doing. We love making these episodes. We love talking to the people who make the things that we love, um, and that definitely continues today. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Please welcome actor Terry Chen to The Movie Podcast. So I got involved with the lake uh, just about a year ago through through my agents brought me this audition and uh, I put it on tape and I think uh, it was a little while until we heard back from from them but um, but yeah it was it was such a great audition piece and it was sort of outside of my wheelhouse and and they they liked what I did with it so yeah. uh, we just sort of uh, yeah went from there. I love it. Your entrance in the show. I it's just perfect. I think it's a perfect just way of showing how Justin and Billy just feel so inferior to the families at the cottage and at the lake. It just it was just so good. How you must have had a blast filming this with everyone. Yeah, it was it was an incredible time. I hadn't spent any time in Lake Country in Ontario before. You know, most of my time growing up, uh, well, I was born in Alberta, but like BC and Alberta lakes. Yeah. So it was glorious to see, uh, you know, North Bay and and some Ontario Lake Country, you know, just north of Muskoka. Um, yeah, Julian and the writers just set up an incredible pilot. Yeah. You know, uh, the writing was, it was hilarious off the page. So, right. you know, I was very nervous sort of uh, taking on the part because, you know, there's, you just want to nail it for them because, you know, the material's there. It's, you know, you don't want to mess it up. So, right. And you didn't, so no need to worry about that at all. No, it was like I said, it was. It's it's one of those shows. It's a rare show that I just from the first episode, I'm like, I just want to watch this 
right to the very end and just because it was so fresh it was so funny um and like i said i think we it, we may have missed it at the top but it's coming out in such a perfect time that you when it's summertime you want to watch a show like this because it's lighthearted, it's funny it's about family and i think it's a perfect time for the show to drop as well too so yeah it's been great. yeah yeah it's very timely i think that uh you know there's so much with so much happening in the world you know yeah a little bit of reprieve is good and you know we've we've got some great themes going on on the, yes. in the show but it doesn't beat the audience over the head you know the the characters are so well developed they're very relatable yes um, you know, it's a very insular, you know, subculture, but if you got family or if you, you know, ever vacation anywhere, you know, right. on the regular, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty funny stuff. So again, I, I credit definitely all, all the writers that, uh, you know, pieced it together. It's, it's not an easy task. And, and with, uh, such a, we have a beautiful backdrop, you know, yeah. for you definitely do. And and the, the lake feels like its own country, you know, like has its own government and has its own politics. Yeah. Were, you, were you very familiar with like the lake culture, or the cottage culture going into this? I, I grew up, I mean, going to like Sylvan Lake in Alberta. And I know that there's, you know, definitely zones that people like to go to and, and, and that, you know, uh, I grew up skiing in Alberta as well. So that is a sort of a, an interesting subculture and going, you know, skiing in Lake Louise and Banff and whatnot. So, so yeah, there's, uh, <laughs> there's, there's hilarious moments because people become so petty about the most ridiculous things. Right. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a snappy show. It's, it's a half hour comedy. You know, it's a, it's an all original content. It's the first Canadian scripted, uh, prime right. video show. So, you know, which is quite a mouthful, but I think that, <laughs> you know, prime videos really supported the show you know, from the get go, it was developed at, uh, uh, the Banff International Film Festival and, and was sort of, you know, um, carried through with, uh, with Julian and the writers from there. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful for the experience because again, from, from the writers to the actors, you know, top down, it was, it was a really fun show to, to, to shoot on location. Well, I bet. And, you know, I remember back, uh, going back in April when we had the, the prime video day for Canada, and, you know, we saw the first clips from the show. Um, it's great seeing that commitment to Canadian shows and Canadian films. And a lot of the times, and, and, and you know, through so many of the projects that you worked on in Vancouver or across Canada, Canada doesn't always get to play itself, right? So you're always, you know, it's always a stand-in for somewhere else. So it was cool just being like, oh, like, these are references to Canadian things, but it's not like, like you said, it's not like beating you over the head that this is a Canadian show. Just like, no, this is, this is just Canada. This is how we are. Right. Yeah, we have a, we have a long, you know, wonderful history of comedy, you know, dating back to like SCTV and oh, yeah. and and that culture, and then of course, you know, uh, shows like uh, Shit's Creek and and uh, and Kim's Convenience have paved the way, you know, more more recently. But I think that you know, I think the Canadians are funny. I'm not saying I'm funny in any oh, way. You're, you're very funny. You're very <laughs> but, funny in the show. But uh, but I think that. Uh, you're right you know canadian stories and and canadian shows not being you know <laughs> being set in canada and then being an american you know location is it's great to see the lake representing canada right um you know it is diverse but again it doesn't beat you over the head with it, it it's not just their ticking boxes you know like the 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 characters like i said i think from from the word go are clearly defined and you know it's uh it's something that you can latch onto i'm so happy to hear what you said about you know just kind of like binging it because you know all eight episodes come out this this uh yeah this so you know you don't have to wait but you know you can you sit back and get get your binge on yeah definitely it's 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 the perfect time for it. like i said you're married yeah. to julia styles in the show uh, you guys have a really funny relationship because obviously everyone kind of has their own motive going on in the show. Everyone has something that they're going after. Um, what was it like working with her um, on like with like being Victor with Julia Stiles in this show? Uh, all I have to say is Julia is an absolute pro. Love her. I mean, what's not to love about Julia Stiles? She's a madman of a driver, though. We drove <laughs> to Toronto at the end of our shoot because she had to drop her rental car off and she probably won't. Uh, maybe she wouldn't like me saying this, but she's a madman of a driver. If Julia <laughs> Stiles driving down the road, you see her coming, get out of her way. That's okay. all I got to say. There we go. We'll but she's awesome. Out of it. 
Like she's, you know, she's, uh, I've been a fan of hers uh, for a long time as well. And she was fantastic. Absolute pro like everybody else. It was, you know, it was just such a great experience. I can't, I want to say bad stuff, but I can't, you know, I just, good. yeah. Um, you are very quick to defend her honor in the first episode, which I love, which is, which is hilarious to see. Were you fami- like, have you, tilted before like or did you know of this practice did have you done it before i was up on the water in in the west coast i did another interview and i that's that's what i was saying to uh to ian the uh the interview was i growing up on the west coast tilting this canoe jousting thing was new to me i've never done that before oh okay i thought it was maybe an ontario thing have you ever done it (laughs) i have never done it before i have never done it before in my head, it makes sense. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. I totally buy into this. But I don't know if that's an Ontario <laughs> thing. So no one can confirm that with me. And I, I should have, yeah, I should have confirmed that with, uh, with the record. But it's a great idea. I mean, it is. Yeah. yeah. The show made me want to go rent a cottage and just hang out on the lake for, for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and and do beautiful. some jousting, canoe yeah. jousting. <laughs> Why not? It's, no, yeah. it's, it was, it's absolutely beautiful there. And just, yeah. and, and just seeing, I love that the whole show takes place there too, because it, it just really makes you, feel like you're just escaping somewhere else or watching the entire show right like you're not preoccupied what everyone else is doing even the phone calls that we see with billy and her and her parents are all through like through her phone and stuff like that so it really keeps you in that moment right which i really like Um, yeah absolutely your role as as victor uh i love how supportive you are of opal in the show and then that kind of comes full circle where opal's then you know consoling you and you know kind of affirming you um as a father and like, as you were getting older in the show and your body's changing. So what was it like working with Declan um, on, on like your, you know, your camaraderie with one another? Declan is a scene stealer. Um, he's, he's going to be a major superstar from yeah. this show. He's awesome. Um, I, I love Declan because he's so inquisitive. He's very much into chess. Um, he, and not to say he's, in any way like Opal because Opal, he's playing such a great character, but the, the level of maturity that Declan has, the he's, he's smarter than you and I combined for sure. Um, and that's not to put down your intelligence at all, but no, this is I, a kid, this is a kid who's, who's probably going to, you know, be the president, you know, one day. Um, it was amazing to work with him because he he's so in the moment as kids usually are yeah um yeah he was fantastic co- to collaborate with i think it's long over the due that a character like opal uh was written and in such a way where it's you know just it's he's such a great character he yeah. owns every scene you know he steps into he so i'm really looking forward to audiences meeting uh meeting declan's opal um i think that uh he will be one of the more beloved characters of the series. Yeah. We're, I, I definitely fell in love with him and I know everyone else will too. Uh, we're not obviously no spoilers, uh, but we leave, leave off the season in a very interesting spot. Um, any ideas on, you know, where you may see Victor go in a season two? Yeah. Everyone dies. So there is no wow. season. That's so, great. I mean, oh, that's not a spoiler though. Is it's it? very progressive, very progressive show that you yeah, guys are looking yeah, to do that. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I like I said, I'm just along for the ride. The, the yeah. writer, I have so much trust in the writers, and and um, and whatever happens next, you know, I'm just I'm looking forward to to the release on Friday and seeing what people think, you know, of about what we made and 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 just going from there, you know, day by day. It's day just by day. a day by day thing right now. Yeah, I get it. Other other than the lake, which is sure to be. Uh, a big hit this week. Uh, is there anything else you're looking forward to this summer to later this year shows, movies that you're uh, you have your eye on? Well, I'm in the midst of having my second child. So I'm really looking forward to that. That will be coming along shortly. Congratulations. Uh, I also have an, uh, another year and a half year old. So busy with that. Definitely. Uh, um, <laughs> but uh but yeah, I mean, there's, there's much to look forward to. Uh, I think, I think that I've been looking forward to this for a while now because you know we've had it in the can for a little bit and um, it's great to have all the support from prime video and we're releasing in 240, you know, outlets. So it's wow. going to be a big release. So um, again, I'm just, I'm really excited to, to hear people's reactions like yourself. Um, Thank you. And, 
definitely appreciate, you know, the words, but, uh, you know, it's sort of like, yeah, you, it's, it's your little baby and it's out and you just sort of see how it does. And then sometimes it just, you know, it doesn't do much. So, and other times it, it hits. So I think if this finds an audience, if we're lucky enough, um, you know, we'll, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be very happy just to have people enjoy it for, for the summer. Definitely. Well, I, I think it will definitely be a hit. I, think people are going to really fall in love with this show when it comes out so uh, i don't want to take up too much of your time today terry but thank you so much again for your time i can't wait to see what you get to work on next and uh, i really hope that we get to see you again uh revisiting the lake very soon awesome appreciate you thank you Once again, Terry, thank you so much for sharing your time with us today. We had a great time talking with you. I had a great time with this series. Uh, If any of you who are listening to this episode right now follow me on socials, you'll see that I thought the show was hilarious. It's so fresh and it was just so funny. And I think it's the perfect show to start your summer with. So I think definitely go check it out. It's on Prime Video right now. And you'll hear us talk about this in other episodes, but this is the first original Prime Video series you know, like that's Canadian. And I think that's, that's pretty amazing that we're, we're in a place now that we're starting to get series that are, you know, through and through Canadian. And we talk a lot about that with Terry. So thank you so much to prime video for connecting us with Terry to have us have him on the show. And we have a lot more coming. So please stay tuned on the movie podcast. We have a lot more special guests joining us. We have a lot more movies to review. We have a lot of movie news to get through, but most of all, it's going to be a lot of fun and we're so grateful to have you here. So thank you so much for listening to today's episode. That was this time with the movie podcast and we'll see you next.